From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us right now for a look at your top stories. I'm Mark Sinney. And hi, everyone. I'm Erin Connolly. We are just days away from some of the initial elements of the pot bill taking effect. And we're getting a lot of questions about what people can and can't do once it's legal. Next Thursday, July 1st, is when people over 21 can legally possess marijuana but not sell it. So this means people can cross the border, get their mar marijuana from a place like Massachusetts, and come back to Connecticut. We do know you won't be allowed to smoke at state parks or beaches, and we do expect the list of prohibited areas to grow. Hartford police say a pursuit is connected to an overnight murder investigation. They were looking for a vehicle that was linked to a homicide on Bedford Street. The driver crashed at the intersection of Farmington Avenue and Sigourney Street. Two people were taken into custody. New Haven clergy continue their call for a principal to be fired after the school district said she used a racial slur. An internal investigation by the school district revealed Brennan Rogers principal Laura Robley used the N word in March while discussing anti bias and anti racism training. Earlier this month, New Haven superintendent recommended Robley be demoted and reassigned, but members of the Greater New Haven Clergy Association feel that did not go far enough. The more people keep speaking up and speaking out, it will for it have Dr. Tracy leave no choice but to make the right decision, which is to terminate Ms. Robley. And also, I believe that Dr. Tracy owes this community an apology for the harm that's still being caused. However, New Haven's mayor, Justin Elliker, said while what was said is offensive, he is supporting the superintendent and the decision that she made. We're getting away with another beautiful day for Thursday. We're going to see basically blue skies start off our day, and then we'll see a non-zero chance of rain later on in the afternoon. We'll probably just see some clouds like today. Absolutely amazing. It's going to be great, and then we'll see those dew points increasing once we get to Friday, and then it's the end of June, so we can get those warmer temperatures, some dew points. That's a recipe for some rain, so we'll look for some isolated or scattered showers on Friday and potentially on Saturday. Friday is our best chance of rain for the near term, and look at those temperatures going up and up, which aren't too bad when you consider the humidity feeling uncomfortable by the time we get to Monday.